You're watching Shoot Your Shot TV, and today we have the Nike Air Trainer 1. These are the Nike Air Trainer 1 in Hyperviolet. If you're familiar with the channel, then you know over here we love vintage Nikes, so picking up the Air Trainer 1 was a must. But let's take a look at the shoes. They feature a white leather tongue with a white nylon tongue tag that says Nike Air Trainer 1 in black, and they feature a Hyperviolet Nike swoosh as well. They have plastic Hyperviolet eyelets at the top, and they also come with flat white laces pre-laced in that go through the new buck overlays. Taking us to the bottom of the tongue, you have this Velcro rubberized strap that has a Nike logo in bold in hyperviolet. Taking us to the toe box, you have a leather toe box in white with perforated holes for breathability, surrounded by a new buck overlay on the mud guard. Taking us to the side panels of the shoe, you have a combination of leather and new buck overlays. They feature black Nike swooshes on the outside and more perforated holes on the white leather on the inside. Taking us to the back of the shoe, you have more padding and cushion that hugs the ankle. Underneath that, you have another new buck overlay with the Nike Air swoosh logo embroidered on in that hyperviolet. Taking us to the midsole, you have a polyurethane midsole in black and white that encapsulates the Nike Air within. And they also feature that lateral outrigger to increase stability. Taking us to the outsole, it's a two-tone outsole, white and gray, and another bold Nike logo in hyperviolet. For those of you who might not know, the Nike Air Trainer 1, aka the Air Trainer High, was originally released back in 1987, and they were designed by none other than legendary Tinker Hatfield. That guy was amazing. He designed some of our favorite shoes. These are no different. And these were created with the purpose to eliminate the necessity to bring multiple pairs of shoes to the gym for different activities. With the Air Trainer 1, you could run in them, lift weights, play some racquetball, basketball, or even tennis like Andre Agassi and John McEnroe. This was such a successful shoe that they even went on to make the Air Trainer 2 and the Air Trainer 3, also known as the Air Trainer SC that Bo Jackson used to wear. And over the years, we've had different variations of the Air Trainer 1. They did a Nike SB version. They did a collab with Travis Scott more recently. And the one that really sticks out in my mind is the one that came out here in the hometown of San Francisco over at Huff. It was the Huff Air Trainer 1 Gold Diggers. Everyone was going crazy for those. A few of my friends had them. They looked amazing. The reason why I gravitate so much towards this shoe is because it helped pave the way for a lot of tennis classics. I feel like Andre Agassi was wearing these, and you even see like a similar outrigger on the Air Tech Challenge 2, which is one of my favorite shoes of all time. This colorway is a nod to the OG women's fuchsia colorway that released back in 1986 and 87 as well. But this is the first time we're getting the same kind of color blocking on a men's pair. These released randomly on different sites and on Nike. I got these in early August on a site called Oneness and they retailed for 140, but Oneness always has these rotating sales. I was lucky to get these for 40% off. Some people got them for 50, some people got them for 30, but I don't mind, 40% off is a great deal. There's a full size run available right now on Nike.com for 140. I got the chlorophyll colorway for like 60 bucks, so I think those will hit deep discount as well. As far as sizing goes, you can go true to size in the Air Trainer one. Personally, I go up just a half size because I like a little extra room there, but you can either go true to size. If you have a wider foot, go a half size up. As far as comfort goes, the polyurethane midsole is very comfortable. It's very lightweight, and you can definitely feel that air unit in there. I don't know if the Retro has a full air unit like the OGs, but it is pretty comfortable. I wear the chlorophyll colorway quite often, and I can't wait to add these to the rotation. Because as far as style goes, to me, it's one of the very iconic silhouettes that Nike has ever created. Good color blocking, simple, yet with the rubberized strap and that lateral outrigger, it makes it look a little futuristic at the same time. It's a design that's held up for almost 40 years. I want to give a huge shout out to Sneaker Preservation Society helping me fact check. If you guys need any more information or want to do a real deep dive on the Air Trainer 1, then I highly suggest you give them a follow on Instagram at Sneaker Preservation Society. 
He has a bunch of information on not only the Air Trainer ones, but a bunch of other vintage Nike tennis shoes as well. My only gripe with the shoe is that there was some quality control issues that you guys might have seen in the product shots, a lot of glue stains, a lot of blemishes, but that wasn't gonna stop me from picking up a shoe at 40% off in a classic colorway that I'm probably gonna beat anyways. The only thing is I wish it came in that vintage Nike box like the chlorophylls did, that vintage Nike orange top box. But how do you guys feel about the Nike Air Trainer 1? Is this a must cop for you? Are you gonna wait for them to hit deep discount like the chlorophylls did, like 40, 50, 60 dollars? Honestly, it's a great time to be a sneakerhead for some of these OG models that just sit there. But don't forget to like and subscribe. We appreciate all the support over here at Shoot Your Shot TV, but let's go ahead and try these on. Shoot your shot records. I don't know how to start this, but I put start to start with. Flow out of space and I ain't been on no starships. No guilt on my conscience, just silk on my boxes. You can't rush greatness, please stick to the process. We got this. All that negativity toxic. Just let the ops gossip while I'm out in the tropics. Otis had the plug on the flights. Real cozy. We came a long way from riding pegs on the bike. If you enjoyed this Nike review, then make sure you check out all our other Nike reviews right here. We got a bunch for you guys to binge and enjoy. Hit that like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next episode. Leave it.